a distributed system is one in which the failure of a computer you didn't even know existed can render your own computer unusable. That's today's internet. How do you enable developers, internet developers, to create exciting applications that will survive and thrive in this kind of unpredictable environment? Well, OneLab2 is creating a large-scale distributed testbed. We operate Planet Lab Europe, a computational facility which is highly distributed. We include uh, a number of smaller wireless test beds under a federation, that is a single administrative interface that allows the different pieces to talk to each other. To get understanding of such distributed applications, you need to have insight into what's going on in the underlying network. So we've put a considerable effort into deploying active and passive monitoring tools into the networks that we manage. We expose this information to the researcher uh, using these tools. We're also working to ensure that our results and our tools will have longevity. Uh, we envision a 10-year time frame for the information that is captured in this way. And scalability. We want to move from the hundreds of computers and the hundreds of sensors, which are the current limits of these kinds of facilities, to thousands of each. As we do so, we are really creating uh, the building blocks of the federated systems that we'll be using in the future. The payoff from all this will be new users. Uh, not only corporate developers taking products much closer to the marketplace by these new tools, but scientists from new fields who operating under the banner of e-science, powerful simulation, and uh, integrating measurement and simulation in novel ways, will be able to see new kinds of things.